You're a better woman than her. One day, I'll definitely become yours, so let's just enjoy our amazing relationship for now. Through the doorway of the break room, I witnessed my husband, Chris, and a young woman embracing each other intimately. I was on maternity leave and had only come here today to pick up something I had forgotten. I shouldn't have come here in the first place. I shouldn't have seen it. I wonder if I would have been happier if I never found out or knew about this. I clamped my mouth shut and backed away. As I back away, my back hits on the wall of the hallway and makes my tears well up. My stomach aches and I slump down, but the cleaning lady, Diane, who saw me, says to me, Oh my god, what happened? Are you okay? She looked at me with a mop in her hand and a worried look on her face, and as I sobbed and explained the situation to her, What a terrible man! I'll teach him a lesson. I can't cause that kind of trouble here at work. Besides, how are we... Well, you know, I'm a cleaning lady, so I'll just literally clean this terrible situation up. She says and gripped the mop tightly. My name is Georgina. I'm a happy new wife who got married at the beginning of last year. I'm married to Chris, who works for the same company as me and is five years older than me. He works in a different department, but we got to know each other through submitting some documents at the same time, and he even invited me to dinner with him. Chris is a handsome man who is popular in the company, and it was like a dream come true to have someone like that approach me. For a few months after we were married, we went to work as colleagues, but at the beginning of this year, we found out that I got pregnant. After discussing it with Chris, we decided to apply for maternity leave. I got the permission from the company for the maternity leave and began to go on my leave as I was celebrated by my other colleagues in the company. Before the leave, I also informed the cleaning lady, Diane, about it. My company uses a rather large building as their office, so the cleaning is done by the cleaning ladies who come from a different company, but Diane and I are good friends. When I ask her about problems that I find it hard to talk about with other people at work, or when I have a casual conversation with her, she has a lot of experience and gives me all kinds of different answers and opinions. She's kind of like a life mentor to me, as she has also been giving me some advice about my love life with Chris. Hey Diane, from tomorrow, I'm going to go into maternity leave. So, we won't be able to catch up often. Oh really? I'm a little sad. But until I get to see your baby, Georgina, I guess I have to do my best here. Saying this, Diane saw me off with a smile. The maternity leave was totally different from just a vacation. It was a very difficult time for me, both physically and mentally. The morning sickness was so severe that many days I couldn't sleep very well, and the stress built up so much that I often took it out on Chris. That was probably the reason. Compared to the past, my conversations with Chris has become a bit more awkward. I'm sorry that I took it out on Chris at times, but there was nothing I could do about it. I tried my best every day to not bother Chris as much as possible, and I tried to do my housework as much as possible. Chris was also busy with work, so I couldn't really ask him to take care of me. Even though I knew this in my head, there were times when it was very hard for me. At such times like that, I would text Diane to take my mind off of things. If I felt sick, I should be doing this. When my stomach hurts, I should be preparing that. While I'm pregnant, I should be eating this. It was much more reassuring to ask an experienced lady than to look things up on the internet. 
With such a powerful ally, I managed to overcome the harsh, anxious period and finally reached to the stable period. Since I was given an advice not to sit still too long, I decided to do yoga at home. Then one day, I received a call from Diane. Georgina, I was cleaning your department earlier and I picked up your fountain pen. It must have fallen off your desk for some reason. I heard that it's one of your important things, so that's why I called you, just in case. That fountain pen that Diane was talking about was my treasure. My father bought this fountain pen for me as a gift once I started to work. In an era when normal ballpoint pens were more practical, I never used it much. But I was so happy with my father's sentiment that I always carried it with me at work. He was a father who really cared about me and would have jumped up and down when I told him about my pregnancy. However, he passed away a few years ago. Now I remember about my father through my treasured fountain pen. Oh, thanks! That's really important to me. Since it's one of my treasure, it should be with me. Then, do you want to come pick it up right now? I'm here at the company until afternoon and besides, it's probably good for your walk, right? I agree to Diane's idea right away. I call the company to let them know that I'll try to arrive at the office in two hours. And then, I left. Since it had been a while since I had been there, I decided to say hello to my colleagues in the department and bought some cupcakes at a pastry shop on my way to the office. The company I hadn't been to in a while seemed a little far away. A little nervous, I headed to the break room where I was meeting Diane before going to my department. Looking at my watch, I saw that I got to the office a little earlier than the promised time. My stomach was heavy, so I opened the door to go in and rest first, only to hear a noise in the back of the room. Reflexively, gasping for air, I quietly peeked in the back. It was Chris. But it shouldn't be a break time at this hour. Why was Chris in here? Just as I was thinking that, I heard a woman's voice who seemed to be close by Chris. The woman had hugged Chris. I was so shocked that I couldn't speak. Then, Chris and the woman kissed each other, thinking that no one was there. They were making out passionately that I wanted to cover my eyes. I left the break room and ran into the nearby restroom. Later, tears and frustration flooded my eyes and I couldn't stop crying. As I was hyperventilating in the bathroom, Diane had walked in. Georgina, what happened? Why are you at a place like this? Are you not feeling well? How is your stomach? Once I heard her gentle voice, I started to cry even more harder. Diane kept rubbing my back until I calmed down for the moment. After I had finished crying, I told her everything I had just seen. She was as hurt and angry as I was when she found out about Chris's affair. I can't believe him. This is terrible. How could he have an affair with a young woman in his office while his own wife, who is pregnant with his child, is waiting at home. This is absolutely unforgivable. Georgina, I'll cooperate with you. Cooperate with what? Gathering evidence of his affair. I can't let a man like that get away. She was very motivated. I was grateful for her help, but... I also felt bad that I had to ask her to do so much for me. When I told her that, she smiled gently at me again. Actually, there are not many people who treat cleaners like us as equals. Sometimes, they just talk to us as we were only just cleaners, when we are just humans too. We are only doing our job, 
But Georgina, you're very friendly to us and take very good care of us. We can't just let such a kind person suffer. And Diane immediately took out her phone. Let's share this information with my other cleaner friends. Georgina, give me a picture of your husband. We're going to get a thorough look at his affair. I was carried away by Diane's motivation that I sent her the pictures of Chris. To be honest, I didn't rely on her that much. I didn't think it was possible for an amateur detective to gather any good detailed evidence. But the cleaning ladies actually did a great job at trying to find the evidence. Actually, the daily photos of evidences between Chris and the woman left me speechless. I was impressed by Diane's network. In the beginning, every time I saw the evidence, I was filled with sadness. But after a while, my anger grew stronger, and I began to enjoy the feeling that each time an evidence was sent to me, it was like having more weapons. I couldn't wait to confront Chris, who was looking so innocent in the photo. That's what I thought every day. Some of the videos included one in which Chris and the woman was panicking when Diane deliberately opened the door of the break room with great force where they were having an affair. Once, Chris was so surprised that he fell down and his pathetic appearance made me feel a little better. But I won't let this level of payback be the end of it. I won't let him keep smiling forever. I have the strongest companions, and Diane and I will definitely make Chris regret this. I'm going to make him pay for what he did to me, and I'll double it. I immediately went to my lawyer with a large amount of evidences we had gathered. He was very surprised at the quantity and the accuracy of the evidence. You must have had a very good detective. Yes, I do. I have the strongest allies. Thanks to them, I was able to get a firm conviction that I would be able to get the alimony. I was now ready to put the finishing touches on the case. Thanks to the information provided by my amazing friends, I was able to predict what time of day Chris would be having his affair in the break room. Seeing the time, I decided to go to the office and to the break room. I was accompanied by Diane, who turned the camera around just in case anything went wrong, which was a relief to my pregnant stomach too. When I entered the break room, I found Chris there too. The other woman was a receptionist named Amanda. Only for today, you know. To my surprise, Chris was having relations with several different women. To begin with, Chris was a good-looking man and was targeted by many women. But that didn't really change even after we got married. In fact, because of my presence, it was probably much more convenient for him to play around with other women. Amanda sat down with her face hidden when she saw me and also saw the recording camera. Ge Georgina, why are you here? That's what I want to say to you. Why are you cheating with this woman here? When you have me and our baby coming soon. I'm not cheating on you. There must be some mistake. We were just together. We weren't doing anything. Do you really think that your excuse is going to work? We already have several pieces of evidence. Then, Diane threw a copy of the evidence of the affair to Chris. Chris looked at it and turned pale instantly. You... you took this without my permission! It's a crime! You cheat on me, and you think you're the victim? Are you kidding me? I took out the divorce papers and pushed them to Chris. I had written and signed everything in my column. Calm down, Georgia. 
Let's just talk it over. Chris says this and glared at Diane with hateful eyes. You're the old lady who clean up around here, aren't you? You've done such a stupid thing. You destroy people's families, and you have so much fun doing it. No, it wasn't fun at all. I was just doing this for my dear friend. Your friend? Don't make me laugh. You're just a low-life janitor. Chris snickered and tore up the copy of the proof of the affair. You're a janitor, right? Look, there's the trash, so throw it out! Chris was so angry that he seemed to forget that the cameras were rolling. You old hag, you got me in trouble! Did you enjoy getting people into trouble that much? I envy you. You're those kind of people who are allowed to just do their jobs with no responsibilities at all. You just have all the time in the world to do such trivial things. You guys are just hired to do the dirty work, so just shut up and take out the trash. Neither Amanda nor I could hide our surprise at the way Chris was yelling at Diane. We had thought that he would never say such horrible things. This must be Chris's true nature. I shuddered to think what would have happened if I hadn't noticed the affair and continued to be married to him. It would have been not long before he would have shown this violent side of himself at home. In the midst of all this, Diane was laughing without fear. <laughs> You're right. Like you said, I'm just a woman who can't do anything but pick up trash. But you know... Then Diane walked up to Chris. I can throw away trashy people like you. What kind of trash are you? I guess you must be a bulky trash, huh? Chris was overwhelmed by Diane's words. Then he cussed and walked out of the break room. That day, I went back to my parents' house and never saw Chris again. The divorce was handled through my lawyer. From all the evidence, I was able to claim a large amount of alimony. And as expected, Chris came crying to me, but I ignored all of it. I cried many more times than he did, so I deserved this. This incident soon became a huge rumor in the company. It seems that each of the women with whom he was having an affair thought that he was the only one who loved them, and Chris began to get the cold shoulders from all the girls in the office. As for Amanda, she was also married, and she and her husband and Chris got into a lot of trouble. Finally, Diane sent me a painful picture of Chris with a big bandage on his face. If that happened, Chris couldn't continue to stay there. He was later transferred to a warehouse site known for its hard physical labor, but with alimony and child support payments, he couldn't really quit. The next few years will be hell for him. Well, it's none of my business anymore. As for me, I gave birth to my daughter the month after this incident. She will be a very strong child who has overcome the harsh times. However, I don't want her to go through the same hardships that I went through. After the maternity leave, I returned to work. The receptionist had changed to a new person. In fact, I was thinking of quitting the company because of Chris's incident. But my boss and colleagues convinced me to stay for the sake of the company and my child, and I decided to continue. Now that I think about it, it certainly would have been a shame to give up my position as a full-time employee. I think it was the right decision to allow my daughter to live a life as carefree as possible. And I had a day off from work today, so I came to a very popular sweets shop in the neighborhood. The reason for this was because I was going to send an assortment of chocolate candies to my friends who supported me during Chris's incident. 
Diane and I had become even more closer than ever before. In fact, she was like another mother to me. If you need anything, you can always count on me. I'm your friend. I was more than happy to hear that. I'm thinking of inviting Diane to my parents' house for tea on my next vacation. I can't wait for her to meet my daughter, too. That's what I thought on that summer day. <laughs>